What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to the Relegation League. The National Championship guys. It's only year four, we actually had one more season to get it done. But let's hope that we can win today. Now before we jump into the game though, we're going to take a look at All-Americans. I was going to look at stats, but there's nothing too impressive. Allen led the team with 1,700 yards passing. 572 rushing yards for Matthew Johnson. And Evans led the team with 782 yards. So yeah, not a lot going on for stats. I'm not going to bother going through all of them. All right, All-Americans. Now again, we don't have great stats, so I don't know how many people are actually going to be here. We have nobody on first team. What about second team? We are the number one overall squad. Oh, Jesse Smith makes it. Good thing I switched him to D-Tackle. That has been paying off greatly this season. Stevenson and King both making it for the defense as well. And Sledge making it for kick returner. All freshmen, yeah. So I, I made that quarterback for North Texas pretty good. Maybe too good. Stevenson, I mean, obviously he was second team All-American. Hartman made it as a kicker. That's not bad. And for all conference, I see Evans already. We got Bush. We got an offensive lineman. Oh, he's an 87. I didn't even realize he was that good. Smith obviously making it a D tackle. We got Stevenson, King, Warren, and Sledge making it a kick returner. Second team, we got two more offensive linemen. No, three more. Oh my goodness. And we got Freeman at left end. Holy Cross making it. And that's all. All right, I am noticing this for some reason. My brightness is cranked like all the way the hell up. Everything that's supposed to be black on the screen right now is like a medium gray to me. I don't think it's going to affect anything whatsoever. It's just kind of annoying me. But regardless, let's jump into the national championship. Their offense is a 99 overall. That's terrifying. Seven minute quarters, so we're going to play a full game. As long as I didn't forget, and then I'll have to reset all this and fix it. But you know. And uh, again, if we win here, this is a series finale. All right, yeah, we're just gonna start with a touchback, cool. Ooh, Evans got that. Defender tried to swat that one away from him and missed the swat. Ooh, Winston got open. Bounced off a guy, all right, 19 yards for him. All right, so far so good against this defense. Let's see if I screw it up. Oh, that was a beautiful diving swat. I was hoping he was going to miss that. That's all right. Read option. Oh, 84, hold that block. That was Wade. Gets an 18-yarder on that for Allen. And Evans getting in for a touchdown. And just like that, we're going to start off with a 7-0 lead. Read option. Everyone went after the halfback, and he kept it himself. All right, it's going to be one of those games. Screen pass. Come on, Scott. There we go. Oh, and the drop on third and nine. We're going to get the ball right back now. So, again, we will not be super simming if we go up by two touchdowns like we have been. We're going to play this full game. However, if we do go up 14-0 and we keep it 14-0, get the ball back again, I'll start chewing clock in the first quarter. Ooh, Sledge. Great return. Oh. 29 yarder on that punt return. That was great. Evans again on that option route. And because I don't normally go over bowl results in this series, uh, GCE, Virginia just won their bowl game by two points over FIU. So I'll, I'll save you the drama. Perfect. Perfect. Wins it on that curl. Comes that blitz. And again, unfortunately, it's Hargrove. Oh, Johnson. Oh, my God, that safety. What were you doing, man? You know what it is? He anticipated it going where it was supposed to go. 
And uh, I threw it early, so it became just a regular streak. Oh, and uh, knock on wood, we've only thrown eight total interceptions this season between the two quarterbacks. So, that's good. Oh, he goes to take off, gets taken down. I'm not sure who got him. Who's 96? Josh Freeman, of course. All right, third and five. If they go for an option play, they're probably going to get it. They did not go for read option. They got it anyways. All right, third and two. I saw that coming, and I just got held with the block. He only picks up four, but that's easily enough for a first down. Second and 12. They're not going to go for the screen. Oh, my God, their backup running back is an impact player? It was a screen, but not to a running back. But their backup running back is an impact player. Great. He throws it up, and we break it up. We'll get the ball right back. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to start chewing some clock. I don't want to give them an opportunity to get back in this game. They have a 99 overall offense, and that petrifies me. End of the first quarter. We are up 14-0 on Ohio State. The defense has played pretty well. The offense has been impeccable. Oh, my God, Evans. Sometimes smash is like an instant pick six, and sometimes it's an instant half-the-field chunk of change. Remember that time with Black Rock State we killed an entire quarter on one drive? It'd be cool if we could do that here, too. Ooh, Hargrove beat his man, too. I mean, he can't break a tackle worth his life, but... That's what happens when I can actually run the ball. It hasn't been going great, but, you know. We got, like, 12 yards on the ground. That's pretty good for the beginning of the second quarter. No mistakes, Shane. No mistakes. Perfect. Oh, I got a good read. Johnson, yeah, that puts him at 28. And I think Allen might have, I don't know, five or six? I feel like we lost some yards. Oh, Evans was wide open. Oh, well. And will take it in for a rushing touchdown. That's going to put us up by three touchdowns. Ohio State, get your head in the game. Oh, there it is. There's a screen pass that worked. And oh my god, he just roasted us. It's those read options, man. Again, though, thank you for spotting us a three touchdown lead before you figured it out. Draw play. Wrapping him up. He still gets six, though. And down for the sack. That is Freeman getting them. Never realized how big of a boy Josh uh, Freeman was. Uh, actually, is it Josh Freeman? No, that's the quarterback for the Buccaneers. I have no idea what his first name is. He tosses it up. Come on, Holy Cross. Well, you know what? We'll get better field position on a punt. I, I like your strategy. That's what we're going with. Yeah, they've they've got us completely on the ropes until they start passing. Oh, there goes the fake. I saw that coming. Well, not that I saw it coming, but you know, punt block man every time. I don't know, like, I've never understood the fake run. Especially that wasn't like it was third and sh or fourth and short. It was like fourth and ten. You don't do that on fourth and ten. Not with a fullback. Not unless you've got, like, an amazing fullback. Oh, God. <laughs> that guy was quick. Oh, my God, he's still quick. He missed us that time, though. Slide down, getting a first down. Oh, Miller just eating them for breakfast. Coach Rusty loses his mind because I'm using chew clock. We're running inside the, uh, we got a minute 21 seconds left. I'm still chewing clock. But we're already at first and goal. And uh, one more time, I'm going to knock on wood. That five accuracy has not poked up at all. And Johnson, yeah, he gets in for a touchdown. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. This is like that West Virginia game, only it's Ohio State. But like I've said before, it's the pro-style offenses we have no problem with. As you see, when they start read-optioning, we struggle. We can't stop them. He gets a 29-yard run. But if you're just running a regular offense, I can figure that one out. 
screen pass. Oh. I, we all saw it, but uh, it didn't matter. Almost tackled him with his own offensive lineman on. That was kind of cool. Thank you! Oh, my God. That pick goes right to Hughes, who I actually have no idea who that is. Um. Okay. Uh, and I'll give you full disclosure. All right, like, I normally don't mess with the sliders. I actually forget you can do that in the game. But I was checking, and I found them. I actually, uh... Because I... I I want this to be entertaining. All right, this is the culmination of the relegation league. This is a series finale if we win here. I want it to be a competitive game. So I actually just adjusted their sliders to make them better and us worse. And the first play after I do that, they throw a pick. Unbelievable. I tried, I, look, I tried Ohio State. I literally tried to hand it to you. Not for the comeback. I didn't like give you like 100-0 sliders or something like that, but just enough were that you could still come back. And you blew it. And I got forced to throw that one away, so we'll settle for a field goal. That's still going to be a 31 nothing lead going into halftime. This is embarrassing. But on the plus side, I'm going to be 4 for 4 in national championship games. Screen pass. Come on, Ray. Yeah, the Juco who I redshirted. He makes one play in his career. Uh, Holy Cross blows the coverage. You're gonna pick up the first down. It's fine. I don't. I don't need a shutout. I actually would prefer it if, like, somehow you scored three straight touchdowns and made it close. Makes me feel better about it. Or you could do something dumb like that instead. Why? So next episode will be. It'll be the off season abridged, basically. Like, I'll run through some of it, but what you're actually... Oh, my God, another sack. That's Freeman again. But what you're gonna get... It is Josh Freeman. That is his damn first name. Okay, I'm not an idiot. Okay, back on track. You're gonna get, like, an abridged offseason, like, a real quick one. Maybe, like, two or three minutes on the offseason. Because we're not playing as UMass next year, assuming we hold on and win here. Which, seeing what the defense just did, hopefully that stays true. And then, in the same episode, what you're gonna get is you're going to choose my next team. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little simpler, and I'll explain it in more detail later, but there are a lot of votes for teams who were ineligible to be voted for. Like, a lot of people saying, like, Iowa and stuff like that, who were obviously in major conferences. It's going to be one of the teams who's already in one of the relegation conferences. And I'm also going to get rid of the American. I don't want to, like, I love Buffalo. I, I want to play as Buffalo, but I don't want to play all the same damn teams again. I'm over Navy. So it'll be between the MAC, the Mountain West, Conference USA, and the Sun Belt. It'll be one of the teams from there, and you'll see who those are. I'll go over that in the next episode. But just keep that in mind for the offseason slash choose my next team. And then it's also going to be like a week and a half, two weeks until you see the first episode of that team. So we'll let this one sink in. All right, two offensive linemen were blocking this guy, and they let him go so he could tackle me. Thanks. Clearly, this UMass team has never watched my North Texas series. You do not let fat white offensive linemen Nate Gatewood do whatever they want. They will destroy you. Ouch. Yeah, there he goes again. That was on me, though. I'm not chewing clock right now. I'm going to go methodical. But, um, you know, I'll just cut a lot of this out if it's real boring. Oh, wait, I might have Miller where I want it. We don't need another score, but man, that'd be cool. But again, it's just Matthew Johnson open on all these. Third and 17, now it's fine, we'll get 26, it's cool. There's some better blocking on this side. Again, was it four or five of our offensive linemen at least, like, made all-conference? I don't know how. Again, Johnson, he's not getting a lot done on the ground today. Decent day, but not much. But through the air, that's 56 yards already. And as I learned with North Texas, they will put the backups in in a national championship. So, yeah, you know what? Drew Royal, he started a few games this year. He was... Kind of trash sometimes and kind of good sometimes. He deserves to play. 
and Miller with a touchdown. I actually kind of threw that thinking, I oh, might pick that. Jesus Christ. Allen's done four incompletions today. Uh, I'm, I mean, we shut out Clemson this year. It's not like shutting out Ohio State is that big a deal. And if we were playing under five-minute quarters, the game would be over already. Because we played 14, 4, 21. Those games are only, yeah, those games are 20 minutes. So technically, it's basically the same as the Clemson game, but there's another 10 minutes added on. That's all. Okay, I'm going to sim this drive. I want to see if the computer gives up a touchdown. Right, like, I just, I don't know. Let's Thank see. you. And, no, first play, Holy Cross gets a pick. Are you... <laughs> now. Now is the time when the defense plays well, but I'm never going to play with these guys again. I'm putting Drew Royal in. I love that somehow this team has two quarterbacks who are over a 90 overall. One of them is sophomore. Royal's coming back next year. According to the depth chart, he's a 93, but I think in reality he's like a 91. So I not only have that, but also there's a long-term plan. Oh my God, it's, it's Royal. He can't run. But you're going to have another quarterback. So you're going to have like two or three straight years of UMass with a 99 overall quarterback. I mean, the offensive line is still trash, but I can only do so much, guys. Coach, he called smash that one time. Wanted to run at the next play. I picked something else. Hey, I haven't seen it again. Oh, that's a beautiful one, the Jones. Winston, oh, there's the overthrow. Oh. I didn't even see Winston open like that. Going back to Chew Clock. I've done everything I can. I've changed the sliders to make it harder on myself. I switched quarterbacks. I was super simming no matter what. They can't get it done. And Drew Royal's going to get a rushing touchdown. And get taken down for his efforts. I still have no idea who the hell Hughes is. I'm assuming he's a cornerback. I just, I'm not sure that I've ever seen him before. And a drop. And another drop. I put their catching ability at like, I, I want to say like 60. Why are they still dropping this? Now, I'm pretty sure Steven's going to get the Deshaun Gaddy Award in case anyone's interested. And the reason for that is you get a user pick. Like, if I'm controlling you and like you get a user pick, you're going to get the Deshaun Gaddy Award. It happened with Gabriel Murphy. It happened with Tex Black. And it's going to happen with Stevenson. I don't get them that often, but I always remember them. Why is Allen back in here? Ooh, that screenplay worked pretty well. Spin? Nah, he didn't even react. End of the third quarter, I am embarrassed for Ohio State right now. All right, Coach finally called Smash again. And also Royals back in here. Royals like the great equalizer. It's like, we're doing real well. Let's put Royal in. He's had games where he's been incredible. And he's had I, he has four interceptions on the season and however many games he's started. And I feel like he threw three in one game. So that shows you how hot and cold. Oh, my God, Evans. That was the most unnecessary dive of all time, bud. But there you go. Get yourself a touchdown. All right, Ohio State, I'm rooting for you. Can you avoid getting shut out? Whoever thought I would have been saying that, but that was a pretty good pass. I don't know how he caught that. I don't know how nobody reacted. I guess we're uh, just taking it easy now. Defense is already celebrating. That's all right, Coach Plum is already like three drinks in, he's celebrating. So hopefully nothing major happens. By the way, Coach Plum is one of those who drinks, like, the weakest alcohol possible, and he can't have more than one glass of it. But And he's, like, he's hammered over there. He doesn't know what's going on. We're actually pretty sure the second one was just, like, the sparkling grapefruit juice you can get. Like, it wasn't even alcoholic. I'm also pretty sure he lived in his mother's house until he was 42. He's taking off. I got him with Kane. Let's go. I guess the funny thing about me making fun of Plum for his uh, inability to handle liquor is I'm straight edge. I've never actually had a drop of alcohol in my life, so he can probably handle it better than I can. You know what? We're going to go all-out blitz here. It's fourth and seven. They are definitely passing this ball, but we're going to go all-out blitz. I'm just going to give him a chance. Let's watch. Mm. Yeah, there we go. All right. They get on the board. That was a real funky play, but somehow they let Evans get open. 
Oh, snap. Royal, the slowest quarterback, gets a 16-yarder on. Completely unnecessary. And it puts us over 100 rushing yards through the game. Just, uh, I'm not very good at killing the clock, apparently. Yeah, all the defensive backups are in here. It looks like their backups are in, too. This one's over. Yeah, they know it's over. They're just going to go for the punt. Man, if I had run some coverage, we actually would have gotten the shutout. And Miller is the backup? Okay, wait a second. Hold on. I want to see this one play out. All right. Miller is a way better kick return than Sledge, but don't tell Sledge I said that. All the backups are in, which means our starting halfback is in here because he's been the backup this whole time anyways. And also, our starting quarterback is in here because I had already benched him earlier. And we're just going to let the clock run down on this. No reason to go for the first down. And it is over. What an embarrassment. But we are victorious over Ohio State. They choke it away again. 59-7. UMass are your national champions. All right, so the final stats on the day. Allen, 16-20, 266 yards, three touchdowns, no picks, and taking one sack. Royal goes 6 for 10, 86 yards and a touchdown. Johnson with 59 yards on the ground for one touchdown. Allen at 7 for 28 and a touchdown. And Royal, 3 for 25, two touchdowns. Receiving Evans on fire, seven catches for 111 yards and two touchdowns. Winston, 6 for 84. Johnson, 4 for 76. Miller had 2 for 32 and a touchdown. Jones, 2 for 26. Hargrove, 1 for 23. Hey, look at that. Anderson, Barclay, and Hargrove all getting pancakes. And Murphy gave up a sack. Kane and Freeman led the team with four tackles apiece, so really not much going on there. Three TFLs for Freeman, all sacks. Skinner with two TFLs, and one for Holy Cross, Matthews, Ray, and Alexander. Holy Cross getting that interception on the sim, and then Hughes also with a pick. Hughes, again, who are you our starting safety? And I just didn't know it this whole time. He had two pass deflections and Holy Cross with one. We had one kick return today for one yard, and that was on the onside kick. But Sledge had three punt returns for 68 yards, so that was pretty good. And that's it. We're national champions. That will wrap up this episode. That will wrap up our time with UMass. Like I said, next episode, it'll be in a couple days. We're going to do an abbreviated version of the offseason, and we're going to go right into who you guys can pick for our next team in the Relegation League. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, want to get in some early picks for the team, even though you don't know who you get to pick, whatever, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. I'm Shane. I'm out.